people and welcome to another Galactic Mayan Astrology Report. So this is a report for the new wave spell that we are moving into on Friday the 24th of January 2020. Feels really cool to be saying 2020. So yeah, the wave spell that we are moving into is the energy of Yellow Warrior. So yellow warrior is a yellow sign and all yellow signs within Mayan astrology are about flowering and blossoming and opening. You've got the blue signs that are about transformation, you've got the white signs that are about refining and getting clear, you've got the red signs that are about awakening and initiation and beginning. So yeah, the yellow signs are all about this opening process. So yellow warrior energy is all about the warrior, it's about the spiritual warrior and it's really this energy that is embodying, transforming victimhood. So at this time on the planet, especially you know if we're on this path or doing this kind of work or interested in these kind of more expansive you know internal search things, we've had a pretty shit beginning. We've had trauma you know, everybody on the planet has had trauma, but I think like the first step of the process of healing is like the identification of the trauma. So, you know, there are generations previously that wouldn't have recognised something as traumatic because it was so normalised. Whereas this time on the planet, we're really beginning to recognise, oh my gosh, that was an incredibly difficult thing to go through. And oftentimes what happens as a sort of healing response, um, I guess to avoid the healing, is that we go into this victim space. Now this is a space that I know very well. And, you know, this, this victim energy, you know, that we go into is like a, a despair of our story. But what happens as a result of that trauma that we've been going, that we've gone through, that we've been through, is that this, this victimhood develops different capacities to kind of play with the trauma that we've experienced in order to receive something. So it's like, as a result of the trauma, we have this hole, you know, we have this challenge. And then what we end up doing is playing games to try and fill, cover, hide the hole. So yellow warrior energy is about the recognition of our trauma and the light being shined on the victim, whatever that means to us, however we personally embody it, because we all do. And I think sometimes what can happen when we're trying to loosen from the grip of victimhood is that we can become very critical of that part of ourselves. We can become very harsh and perhaps embody the energy of other people, you know, authority figures within our lives that have that energy. So it's really important for us when we're working with this reclamation of our power and that's really what the transformation of victimhood is about, reclaiming our power from a situation. It's very important that we approach that with tenderness, respect and honour to ourselves and what we've been through. So there's this thing you know, within internal family systems which is a fantastic um, model that I really suggest having a look into and essentially you know that talks about us having these different fragmented parts of ourselves but then also this core self and this core self is the self that can hold space for our totality and it's the the part of us that you know approaches everything with seeds they say there's like curiosity there's loads of other seeds that I can't remember but curiosity is the one that I tend to focus on so it's like being curious with this energy of victimhood that we embodied that we learned to embody one way or another. So the warrior energy really comes also through and embodies, you know, not denying what has happened to us. So it's this like fine line between avoidance and denial and victimhood and playing on what we've experienced. It's like, how can we come into a place where we are here, we recognise and allow ourselves to continuously feel whatever needs to be felt from our experience. So it's very much an integrated part of who we are because it's what has happened to us. Without spinning out then into the, this is the card that I'm always going to play. 
whilst also bearing in mind that every time we go through something, it is always hooking into our core wounds. So we can say that there's this like victim part of us that's like, oh, it always links to that thing that happened to me. But in essence and in truth, that is what is always happening. You know, our biggest trauma is constantly being reactivated by the minor things that go on within our lives that we attract to us in order to bring that trauma more to the surface so we can deal with it. So this journey of the wave spell of Yellow Warrior is really about us recognising, you know, what parts of our lives are still spiralling with this energy of either denial or victimhood. You know, where are we still not in our power as a result of what has happened to us? And how can we flip the script? That's really what Yellow Warrior is about. It's about the flipping of the script. So going from this happened to me and it fucked my life up and therefore I'm broken to this happened to me and it taught me so much and through the processing of that I've come out with all of these tools which mean that I can do anything and I'm closer to the conscious creator force that I am than I would have been had that not happened. So it's really a time of working with this energy of, you know, feeling powerless and feeling helpless and, you know, again, the, the powers that be really pry, pry, play um, on this energy of victimhood because if we're broken then we want to consume, you know, so it's really potent, you know, for us to be working with these themes and unhooking them again so that we become a free human. Um, an autonomous person that's able to make their own decisions and that also holds the awareness that we are that creative force that is completely able to create anything. So this is a really powerful wave spell again, they always are, but in particular, you know, the, the word for this wave spell is integration and power, empowerment really. You know, it's about not having all the armour on and not allowing ourselves to feel because of what we've gone through. It's not about playing games and manipulating in order to get our needs met because of what we've been through. It's about being a really integrated person that is able to go to the depths of emotion and to hold space for others to go to the depths of emotion because of what we've been through, you know. So there's this really beautiful flowering energy, you know, of us being able to really, you know, it's not about denying our story, but it's about starting a new chapter of our story and allowing all of the gifts that have come from these traumatic chapters of our lives to flower through us, to be part of who we are when we step forward into the world. People don't need to know necessarily what we've been through, but that learning carries through into the way that we then react, present ourselves and live you know, and consciously interact with other people. So yes, yeah, so I hope that you have a wonderful wave spell. Um, there are a couple of announcements. Due to the incredible success of the last retreat that I ran, I'm holding another one and this is a very potent time. So the last few days of this nine month spin um, fall on the weekend of the 27th of March. So the 27th, 28th and the 29th, I'm going to be running a retreat. It's Friday to Sunday. We are going to be very much connecting with this Egyptian lineage of energy healing. So I'm going to be attuning everybody to Sekhem. We're going to be learning loads about how to really bring in our power, stand in our power and decide from that place what we want to create with our lives. We're again going to be looking at business tools, but we're also going to be spending some time because of the timing of this retreat. We're going to be spending some time musing upon the last nine months and really gathering in that energy, integrating it all to then step forward into the brand new nine month cycle, which begins on the 30th of March, which is my birthday this year. Wow. Um, to then step forward, you know, and really initiate this new nine month cycle from a place of consciousness and, you know, really wrapping up the threads to embody this new energy lineage to then step forward with a BAM, this is who I am and this is what I'm claiming for myself and my life. So get in touch with me if you fancy coming on that, I'd really love to have you there. Oh, also, it's in Pendle, which is a really sacred place in the UK. Um, a very sacred place for the witches. Where we're staying is at the bottom of Pendle Hill. Um, so do a little bit of research as well about Pendle and all of the magic around that area. 
The other element um, announcement that I wanted to, to make was I mentioned last time in the video that I was offering business coaching. This is happening and I've mused upon it more and more and it just feels super potent and super exciting. So it's all about astrology, shadow work and really refining your business. It's over six wave spells, it's six sessions and it's super potent. Now, for a very short time, I'm going to be offering it for £222. After that, the prices are going to increase. So if you book in for it before February, you will get it at this discounted beginning price. It feels very, very exciting and I'm super buzzing to share it. So yes, darlings, have a wonderful wave spell. Enjoy this transformation. You know, really, it's time to flip that script and for us to really step into our power. And that feels like, you know, I'm just completing 13 years of Yellow Warrior. So it's interesting now that I'm working with the Sekma, I'm doing the business coaching, and it's all really this energy of like, claim, claim who you are, step into it and shine. So enjoy the wave spell, beautifuls, and take care.